Hey, Zach with EC Master here. Today I'm going to show you a really handy tool in the EMU Black software. This is actually the same for the EMU Classic and for the EMU Black. It's called the Test Outputs feature. So once you've wired up a car, or let's say you got a new plug and play setup, whatever the case is, it's always a safe bet to test all of your outputs before you try to start the car. You need to check all of your inputs, make sure all your sensors are reading correctly, you need to verify your base timing. But uh, for the output side, checking your outputs, you can test them manually with the software, which is super handy. So I'm actually going to show you in the EMU Black software. It's going to be the same for the Classic. You scroll up to the tools portion, left click, click test outputs, it'll pop up. So you've got a menu here, you can select which output you're going to trigger. So you can choose any of your outputs. Your outputs are any of the devices that the ECU drives, like your injectors, your coils, your boost control solenoid, uh, turning your fans on and off. I wouldn't use the output test for a fan because you're pulsing it. Um, it's not a really good test for that. Uh, but for anything like a solenoid, uh, an injector, a coil, this is the easiest way to test it. So I'm gonna show you how this works. I'm gonna choose injector one. For an injector, you, you can use a little bit more cycle on time than you would with a, an ignition coil. An ignition coil, you wanna limit it pretty low so you're not gonna burn up the coil by overdwelling it. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it on for 20 milliseconds, which is a lot, but I want you to be able to see it on camera. And so this is the number of cycles, which is 20, the on time in milliseconds, which is how long it's gonna stay triggered, and the time between each pulse, which is 200 milliseconds. Uh, I'm gonna test injector one. I know I've got this wired incorrectly. This is just a display, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I wired it to injector eight on here. So I'm gonna test it. So I'm gonna click test, and if we pan over while I click test, we'll be able to see it flash. I'm gonna show you the same thing now with a, an ignition coil. So I'm gonna choose ignition output one. Again, I'm gonna do 20 milliseconds. Do not do that with a real ignition coil. Um, to test your wiring, you can actually use a Noid light or something similar if you don't wanna actually use your coil, which is maybe a good idea if you need to dwell it for a very long time. So I'm gonna use 20 milliseconds again, just so you guys can see it on film. So test, and we have spark. So everything matches up as we thought it would. So it's a safe bet to go through all of your devices before startup, make sure they all match where you think they're matched. If not, you're gonna chase your tail for a long time, but it's a super handy feature, eliminates a lot of troubleshooting and wiring diagnostic. Uh, it's just very easy to just turn them on or off. And in a real car, what I'll often do is you can use a mechanic stethoscope or just put your hands on the uh, injector and you can feel it pulsing when you trigger it because you've got a little mechanical pintle in there that's moving. Uh, ignition coils use a test light. You can do an inline spark tester. So you can pull that out or you can just take the spark plug, hold it against the ground um, or use an alligator clip, ideally so you're not touching it and you can watch the spark pop off when you trigger it. Uh, anyway, that's the test outputs feature, just a handy diagnostic tool in the EMU Classic and EMU Black software. Uh, hope this is informative for you and have a great day.